Chris, thank you for joining us on This Great City. Just to tell us a little bit more about you and your business. Well, let's see. Um, I'm retired currently. Um, I For many years, I was in corporate Canada. And uh, after that, uh, I was downsized. And like many of my generation, had a myriad of jobs since that time. Everything from selling life insurance to uh, being a security guard with guard dogs, which was kind of fun. Um, but uh, yeah, I basically became a member of Legal Shield uh, before I became an associate. And uh, I I just liked the, the service and everything else. And, and kind of my partner was, I was recommending it to people and, and telling my partner, you know, this, this person should get this. And then she said, well, if you become a, an associate, you can actually get paid for that. And I go, oh, okay. I was doing it very, <laughs> very, very part-time uh, while I was working. And then I retired. And I've, uh, in the meantime, tried to ramp up my business. Um, we have a, a number of streams within Legal Shield as associates. Um, there's a kind of a networking stream, which, which deals with... Um, families um, because it is such a good program for families because families have issues and I mean there is just nothing like getting the advice of a of a lawyer before you do something and <laughs> and trust me the lawyers appreciate that because they will all to a man tell you that it is much better to do something proactively than reactively Absolutely. so basically I just go out and tell people about it and they make their own decisions. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm coming from. I particularly like to help small business because most small business people know whatever widget they're selling or, or whatever service they're offering. The problem comes when they get outside of that area of expertise and now suddenly they're faced with you know tax questions. And if they have some employees, you've got HR issues and everything else. And all of those things can be answered with a simple monthly membership and the access to that resource. So it's it's a wonderful thing. And it's not, I mean, it's like for a family membership, it's like a cup of coffee a day. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's like, hello, it's a, it's a no brainer. Yeah, exactly. I, you know, notwithstanding the ID shield, which is another whole, another whole issue. I mean, today it's crazy. I, I read a, an article Oh, a couple of weeks ago, I guess. And uh, these guys were, were saying that there are, they estimate there are 4 billion, to the B, identities available that have been compromised on the dark web. Wow. So 4 billion. You, you got to figure that. There's like you know, just over 7 billion people. <laughs> so more than half of us. Yeah. Yeah. And, and. The problem with it is, is that is that quite often your identity's been stolen and nothing happens because right. they will wait three, four years before they start using it. Because if you know it's been compromised, then you take all the precautions, but they usually fall away after the first year. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and you start getting lax again and then it's like, oh, I'm safe. And it's crazy because that people think particularly about their their credit history like money right that's that's like 17 to 20 percent of identity theft issues the real problems come with things like um in in the border areas where we border the u.s is um health card numbers right okay so you get you steal it you get a stolen health card i live in new york state i come across the border i get some work done as Fred Jones, I go back across the border. Great for me. Right. Unfortunately, Fred Jones comes into the hospital and his blood type is wrong. Oh. Because the Fred Jones that they have on record ain't the Fred Jones that came through the front door. Oh my goodness, that would be terrible. Because they're not going to check it again if they have it on record. Well, they will. They will. I mean, literally, I tell you, from experience this week, I was asked more times who I was and what was <laughs> and what was happening. I, you know, I felt like making a sign up. Chris Morris, left hip. We're good. 
<laughs> and I mean, they, they really do their due diligence. But the problem with it is, is the computer will say something. Yeah. And if I'm Fred Jones and I've proved I'm Fred Jones, they may take what the computer says about Fred Jones. That's right. That's right. Probably not, but who wants to take the chance? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you don't want to be stuck in, and that would be a time where you would get stuck and need it. And be, you... it's crazy, you know. And and you know, not with that. Well, I, I, I'll if you got a minute, I'll tell you a funny, uh, not funny, but a story. Um, one of the guys that I know that's a, that's a um, an associate, and this guy is a very cautious kind of person. He's he's like cautious let me put Great. it that way. he's an ex-engineer so he okay. really yeah. um and he was in florida and he had a condo down there he had the condo for a number of years when he bought the condo he'd set up a line of credit you know just to have access because they made a few reservations and they paid that off and the line of credit was there and he went down and they wanted to make again make some renovations to the condo mm -hmm. went into the bank the bank said, oh, I'm sorry, sir, but your, your line of credit is overextended. In fact, it's overdue. Oh, no. And he, and he went, I haven't used it. How can it be overdue? Right. And, they, and so they started talking to him and explained all that stuff. And he said, well, it isn't me. I didn't do that. Well, now an interesting thing happens. Because now the bank says, well, if it's not you, I can't talk to you about it. Oh, no. Because the privacy laws cut in. And now there's a problem with proving who actually who did what are. and who right. you are. Mm. So not only is this a problem, but you can't get at it. Right. So he got onto the ID Shield guys and they dove into it and started digging. And it turns out that he had something north of two hundred thousand dollars worth of mortgages and loans and no. Lord knows what all all over oh southern my gosh. all over southern Florida. And <laughs> what do you do when that happens? Well, yeah. in his case, in his case, he spent total, I guess, about he said about two and a half to three hours over the course of about six months on the phone with the. ID Shield guys. Right. And they sorted it all out. Amazing. And the really important part is now they keep watching because right. if you look at the dark web, if an identity turns out to be good, it gets resold. Right. Of course. For more money. So it it's I was in a, a seminar actually from our ID Shield people about a year or two ago, and they said that it's it's like a commodities exchange. You right. literally you literally yeah, can go you're, on and, your stocks up. <laughs> yeah, you know, you literally you can go on and say, "Well, I need um, I want fifty identities." Oh, yes, sir. They're ten dollars a piece. Wow. And so they go through the fifty identities. And whatever works, they do whatever they're going to do with it. Whatever doesn't work, eh, they don't so worry about it. If they have properties in his name, does he get to keep those properties? No, <laughs> but he doesn't want them either because no, they, were course, all, they were all under. They were all in foreclosure. Like they were like. Oh, right. Because he's not paying been, for it. He just no, gets and, the initial. Then, oh, they, apparently they'd been used to leverage loans and oh, it was just a mess. Oh my gosh. And. Like, that's I mean, a, I you don't even know how to you don't even know how to start something like that. Yeah, and that's the secret is is the guys that work for ID Shield are trained forensic investigators and <laughs> can get to the bottom of all this stuff. And basically, what you do is you give them a limited power of attorney. Right. You go, okay. You go. Bye bye. Good luck with yeah. Good luck. Come back to me when you found some and all this stuff. They fix it. And wow. That's to cool. me. That's that's. That's yeah, that's worth tons. That's, yeah. yeah. And again, it's like, you know, peanuts. Yeah. A month. Yeah. Yeah. But all the headache that you would have to go through, it's totally well, it's, worth it, right? It's funny. I know a couple of guys that are that are involved in Legal Shield, and one of them is an ex-vice cop. 
Okay. 28 years with the Toronto Police Department. Nice. And he freely admits he would not have the faintest idea of what to do. <laughs> and that's and someone who is educated in... 10, 10 years of fraud investigation. He said, <laughs> I don't know what the heck I'd do. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Because you yeah. don't know when... To, not only do you not know where to go, you don't know when to stop. Right. And for someone who's just a normal person, where would they... They don't know anything. Like, they just go, okay, well, how bad is it? And again, you get into those silly privacy laws. Right. Because yeah, if that's... it's not if it's not you, yeah, then who is it? Right. And obviously this person was able to prove that he was you up to a certain extent. Up so to a certain how, point. Yeah, yeah. How do I know it's not you now? The the really crazy one is is popped up a couple of years ago now, I guess. It's called a synthetic person. Okay. So they take part of you. And part of me, and part of him, and part of somebody else, oh. and create a a of separate person. identity. Mm. And mm. so that that identity can have like you know super credit and all of these other things, and they run around and maximize that, and then they just disappear. Right, because it's not a real person. So, so how do you find them? But <laughs> all those institutions that have lent the synthetic person money have your information your information that's right who do they go after right it's it that's really insane i understand that can that, take like months yeah months like how months. do you yeah and how do you prove like it must take months and years to prove that yeah you know, a it's happened who it might be you know and then how do you follow a trail if there's no trail you are the trail <laughs> all roads lead to you except it's the wrong road <laughs> exactly exactly it, yeah it's a it's a crazy crazy world yeah that's a that's yeah that's quite frightening actually but and, and as i say for again you know for a family it's like 30 bucks a month yeah exactly to not have to go through that totally worth it so my next question would be and i know that you probably answered probably all my questions in that <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't get me started I'm, a, I'm kind of talking so that's totally fine you can add in whatever you want but uh so question two is uh what need did you see in the market uh that informed you uh to make your decision to start that business i know we talked about some of those wow. pieces just now so, like <laughs> i mean if you're if you're if you're a family just take a family yeah you need your wills done yeah 70% of North Americans do not have an up-to-date will. 70%? That's pretty high. And unfortunately, uh, statistically, it's the largest money earner for the Ontario oh. government. Oh, because it all if, goes to them. If you die without a will, they start off by taking about 50% of your assets to right. distribute your assets to whoever is around. And if or nobody's going to fight for it. If nobody's around, it goes to the government. Yeah, that's terrible. and frank, frankly, they're not doing a great job while I'm alive. I sure as heck don't <laughs> want them handling my affairs when I'm dead. I know we give them enough money while we're alive. Like <laughs> you know, it's crazy. So that's that's a key. And and it's it's part of your membership. It's like free with your membership. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I mean, there are a couple of minor charges to get it registered and stuff, but basically. And your powers of attorney as well. So that covers your your living will and, and all that kind of stuff. We never know when you're going to get, you know, hit by a bus and and not oh be goodness. able to not be able to make your decision. It's like it's funny, it's young people. Um I know of a, a really sad situation where this young person was killed. But he was killed in an accident that generated a like a two and a half million dollar settlement settlement oh my and you know what because of the government well he's he's he was in his 20s right. so and he's a, think, in your 20s you're not thinking even about it well you think you live forever at 20 <laughs> <laughs> tell me about it <laughs> yeah yeah i can think of some <laughs> of the dumb things that i did in my 20s i'm thinking boy I'm that's right. That's right. um but yeah and and like 
it's so sad when it was so easily fixed because I mean we just updated ours oh, four or five months ago. And it's it was basically it's a questionnaire you fill in. They you know, you send it into the law firm, they deal with it, they send it back. Are you happy with this? Do you want to change that? You go back and forth until everything is happy. You sign it, you get it notarized, and you're done. Right. And the great thing is they will and they just hold on to it and know where it they, is forever. <laughs> they will review it every year because oh, okay. Good. Things change. Your your okay. kids, your kids, you know, age out or or get bigger or something happens here. The laws can change. I That's true. it's like it's like silly. I know somebody that had a thing in their will that turned out you can't do anymore. Oh, and they won't let it go, even though hmm. So that will had to be fixed, but wow. the time to fix it is before it becomes necessary because it, or before it's, it's not allowed to happen. <laughs> yeah, if it's afterwards, then it can change the complexion of the whole idea of what you were trying to do. Exactly, you know, it's your it's your last it's your last love letter to your family, really. It really is, yeah. And so it it doesn't take a lot. Like we we put it off and put it off and put it off, and finally we said, "Oh, the heck with it." Particularly when we were looking at this surgery thing, I mean, mm, we better get this out of the road. <laughs> and because uh, I was not, I was anxious. Let me say, I wasn't worried, but I. Right. Yeah, you, know, you never know. You, never, you know. never know. Listen, you know, how many accidents happen every day and none of them got in their car that morning and thought, ma, I'm going to have an accident. This is yeah, my exactly. day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So, so from that perspective alone, it was amazing. Plus, as I said, from the small business perspective, to help small business guys. I mean, I spend a lot of time in corporate Canada. Right. So okay. and I I know all the crap that they have to put up with. And in in small business, it's just multiplied because you don't have a, a department of people to handle those issues. The department is you. Is that's right. <laughs> Let me take this hat off. And yeah, I put my other hat other one and, on. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, that's silly things. I, I think it's three employees. If you have more than three employees, you have to have an employee handbook. Right, right. And it has to meet certain criteria. How do yeah. you write an employee handbook? <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, especially if you, you don't get, have time. You gotta. You can get advice business. on that, you know? In fact, nice. there's, there is a supplement you can put in that <clears throat> with your small biz plan that links you to a whole company that does advice for small business and so they'll walk nice. you through things like websites and and nice. handbooks and all of that kind of stuff right. and it's it's i think it's 15 dollars a month on top of your membership it's like and it's all tax deductible right yeah because all, because all of that all stuff is necessary to run your business so That's right. yeah and when you think you know if you wanted to phone your lawyer well you know if you have a business question you phone your lawyer you're paying that anyway <laughs> you're gonna pay a hundred yeah. bucks to make a phone call yeah well you might as well have pay a hundred bucks and make a hundred phone calls that's right over the course of a month yeah and be it's, protected in multiple different ways yeah and you know and cra audit protection is part of the program and yeah it's just contracts you get your contracts right over Perfect. again Again, so you get them right over before you sign them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not fighting with somebody after the fact. Exactly. You know? It's just, and so that's that's really what started me into the thing is it's, I just saw the need that out there. Nice. And I, I really believe in it, obviously. I'm, yes. I believe in the program, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I really think it can help, so. Nice. Okay, so for other entrepreneurs like yourself, um, what was a major challenge that you might have had or encountered within your first year? And how did you overcome it? Uh, or what solutions did you kind of put in place to solve it? The biggest problem we have in Legal Shield is less than 2% market share. People literally do not know we exist. Right, still. Because Legal Shield has been around for quite a while. The company has been around for 50 years. We've right. been in, in Canada for uh, close to 25. Wow. 
Wow. But it, it's still, it, as a corporation, they don't, they don't uh, advertise necessarily. Right, right. So it's so basically word of, mouth. word of mouth because it's a service and yeah. a service is very hard to do in a 30 seconds. I mean, I was in the ad business for many years and uh, a service is very hard to cover in a, in a 30 second spot. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Product, how, do you make, yeah product, how do you make a service, uh, you know, feel good to someone? Exactly. So you really have to get down to the, it's like, in the in the area of life insurance, you know, it's yeah. like you have to go out and meet people. That's right. And so that's been our biggest thing is is getting out and meeting people, doing networking events, you know, nice. joining wonderful groups like this great city. Nice. Yeah, is right. another way to get it out there. <laughs> um, and you know, on social media. And so it takes a while, you know, it's not instantaneous, but it's you know, people are starting to recognize at least me and and moreover they're starting to recognize legal shield because we're getting more and more associates out on their field um yeah. because it quite frankly it, it pays quite well <laughs> nice not to put too fine a point on it i mean we love helping people but the fact that we get paid for it doesn't hurt either that's right exactly why not why not do both you're yeah. helping people and and, paid. and get paid that's for awesome. it yeah. exactly Good. Okay, cool. So more market share. So uh, what is the most rewarding part of your current business? When you get a call from somebody that has the membership and gives you a story about how well it worked. Yes, that terrific. that's amazing. <laughs> that is terrific. Um, one of the, we, we, our team obviously has meetings to, periodically. And, and so we get a lot of these wonderful stories. And in Canada, we don't appreciate, as I don't think it as much as the value of it as right. our friends south of the border do, particularly our friends of color. Okay. And I heard a story oh, a couple of months ago. This young man was driving home. Um, he's a young man of color. Mm -hmm. He was pulled over by six police cars. Oh my gosh. One man. And and you can imagine, uh, in the southern United States, a young man of I'm color sure being pulled over by, yeah, I, yeah, and rightly so. Absolutely. And the, they came up to And the six car. of them, like. He was surrounded by it's police a, cars. It's a little excessive, I would say, and, like, honestly. And, and he was surrounded by police cars. And by the time the officer got to his car, he was able to hand his phone nice. to the officer with the lawyer on the phone. Nice. And he got to go home. Fantastic. And that to me is worth absolutely anything. Oh, yeah. And, and that, we don't that could be an entire life right there. We don't appreciate that here, especially no. I'm I'm an old white guy, you know. Other than, much about it. other than going too fast on my motorcycle, maybe. Right. Not likely to encounter that kind of a situation. Definitely not. But, but there are people out there that need that service. That's or right. or a mom who suddenly has children's services at the door. Yeah. Because the neighbor next door doesn't like her kids. She's done nothing wrong, but there's been a complaint level. Right. Now, the ability of her to have a button she can press on her phone mm -hmm. and have a lawyer there in minutes is huge. Yeah, it's priceless. It's priceless. It's huge. Yeah. You know, it just, and and you literally, I mean, I know of a situation where the young man was in a car accident and it was a, in the Muskokas Sunday afternoon uh, on, a, on a long weekend. And he was the rat, he was involved in the accident, and everybody else pointed at him and said it had to be his fault because he was the young guy. Of course. And uh, by the time the officer got up there, he had the lawyers on the phone. And the first thing the officer said is, "It's three o'clock on Sunday afternoon on a long weekend." <laughs> what lawyer are you talking Who to? Who the heck are you <laughs> that you have a lawyer on the phone? <laughs> That's right. That's and that right. was like the, the officer was kind of stunned by the whole thing. 
and he handed the phone to the guy, and the guy, mm, okay, yeah, yeah, oh, I understand. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, right. mm, okay. He asked to get the computer captain, handed it back the phone. Just okay, you can go. Nice, nice. And that's you know that that wouldn't happen. That wouldn't happen. Just not necessarily. Regular. It might have, you know, but you know, it's funny. The 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 friends of mine that are policemen say the worst problem people have is they talk too much. Right. Yes. And he's got his notebook out. And his pen, and it's in pen. Right. And once it goes in his notebook, it, it part doesn't come of out. The report it cannot come out. So if you say something really dumb, <laughs> in fact, there. It, well, the one guy, the one fella, I, I, we were talking about a, a situation, and he said, he says, I'm standing there talking to the guy, going, "Are you sure you really want to say that?" Oh, no. guy, that guy right was, there <laughs> guy was in shock and just was babbling yeah and as my friend said he said i got no choice if you're babbling and you're telling me you, yeah i'm writing the report I, yeah i have yeah. to write it down That's and so true. the fact that you can press a button get the lawyer on the phone and say and the lawyer will tell you please be quiet <laughs> exactly exactly allow me to explain it to the officer yes perfect well, yeah there you go <laughs> that's right that's right that's right it's you know it, to me it's just yeah, anyway yeah obviously i drank the kool-aid i love this i love the whole thing it's so good it's so good and so helpful for so many people and that's the thing like even going to, and doing your wills um like and that's just one piece right you could spend a couple hundred to a thousand dollars getting that done. It's, Easy. It, it's funny. We uh, we had a thing. Oh, gee, gee, it must be a couple of years ago now. But anyways, we had the our every state and province has its proprietary law firm, so they are paid by Legal Shield, okay. and so we tend to be their biggest client in most cases. Well, for Ontario, it's a company called Mills and Mills. Yes. And ironically enough, they happen to be the oldest family-run law firm in uh, Canada. Right. And they've been around 100 and ooh, must be close to 150 years now. And we had uh, David Mills, who's a managing partner of the Mills and Mills and happens to be the fifth generation Mills. Amazing. Within the law firm, which is really kind of crazy. Yeah. And he was talking to us about wills and, and things. And we said, as a joke, he said, what would you charge? Because he happens to be an estate lawyer. Okay. Now his clientele is, you know, bridal path kind of folks right but but he said what well, do you charge for for a will he says well a simple will about 1500 bucks right and he said there are very few simple wills in, <laughs> right. in that in that in that type of scenario yeah mm -hmm. for sure and you know i'm not thinking holy crap yeah. <laughs> that's right so, and that's it yeah. it's just for the will Right. That doesn't come with anything. Doesn't count else. all the other. Doesn't count the dumb stuff like I was in an apartment and somebody was in my parking space and they told me I had to pay for parking. And I said, Yeah. Well, phone the law firm. The law firm said, eh, that doesn't sound right. Tell them you want to make it part of your, your uh, lease. Right. All of a sudden, my parking space cleared up. They renewed my lease about four months later. Nobody ever mentioned paying for parking again. Wow. Whether it was some scam, the, the, Super was running or what? I don't know. I don't need to know. All I know is they wanted 45 bucks a month for parking. And my my membership, including taxes, was less than 40 bucks a month. <laughs> right. So yeah. There you go. Uh, you know, a simple phone call saved me five bucks a month. Would I have phoned a lawyer for a $45 item? No, because it would have cost me a hundred bucks to make the phone call. To just yeah, just for the and answer. I, and I still wouldn't have known if I got an answer that I'd like. That's right. It could go either way. At that it could point. have gone either way, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's the thing, too. That's the other thing that people have to realize is the law is the law. Uh, and yes, the lawyers will do their best to help you. But I'm sorry, sometimes the law is an ass. Um, <laughs> right. And I don't care how good the lawyer is. You can't change the law exactly so sometimes exactly. you don't get the great answers you want 
But at least you get an answer that you know is correct. And at least you can call someone and ask and say, okay, is this, what is the situation here? And what can I do about it? Yeah. If anything. And you get, and you get a legitimate answer. You get the answer to the question. Yeah. By it's someone not, who's accredited, not by, you know, the, the neighbor. <laughs> Google law or something. Your, your brother law is a plumber or something, but yeah, it's That's just, right. it's just, uh, and it, you know, what's really funny too is, is the lawyers actually love this system. Because nice. most of the lawyers, I think I could say that unequivocally, went to law school because they wanted to help people right. and, they, and they enjoyed the law. Right. But in a lot of situations, they become bean counters because you phone in and they have to make a tick every 15 minutes to keep track of their billable hours. Right. But with our system, they're already paid. Right. So if so an answer don't. if an answer takes an hour and They're he's got to do it. three hours of research before that, yeah, doesn't, doesn't cost you a thing. And okay. he gets he gets to practice law, right? He and gets probably to, the law that he likes to practice because he knows he's actually helping someone instead of having to. Well, and the, and that's the other thing. I mean, in the case of Mills and Mills, when you phone in, if you have a tax question. You get to talk to a tax lawyer. Right. That's his area of expertise. Right. It's not somebody that does real estate and taxes on the side. That, <laughs> That's right. I mean, there there are There's... enough lawyers in the law firm that pretty much every discipline is covered. And That's... those are the people you talk to. So yeah, you get you get real answers. Um and and it's really funny because every once in a while you'll you'll hit them with something that they haven't done before. And I, I know myself, I was uh, on the promotions board for a, shield, a, a church camp up near nice. Goderich. Nice. And we were we wanted to do promotional video. And we were wondering about copyright and and music in the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I said, I don't know, I'll phone the law firm. So I phoned the law firm. We spent an hour and a half, almost two hours. I knew more about copyright law than I will ever need to know. <laughs> But but the lawyer I was talking was having real fun with it because she didn't get to do a lot of copyright law. So she right. was kind of in bed. We were on the phone and she was on her computer. She, oh, hey. Oh, that's kind of interesting. And we jack, yak back and forth. She loved it. Yeah. I mean, how often can you phone the law firm and have fun? Yeah. She doesn't feel stressed that she's going to get it right away. She's not been paid. You know, it's yeah, good. It's, it's just, good. She can just... just she can practice law, uh, which is really yeah. what she what she spent all that time, and it is a long time. Um, yes, yeah. She can practice law. She can what she went to school for is what she's doing. So yeah, that's awesome. So Good. it's a win win you know, for everybody. Yeah, so I have thought about that too for the lawyers, thinking you know they get paid so little if we're only paying you know forty bucks a month or hundred well, bucks a month. But, but you have to think about that though. We're four point six million members. Right. So they're so all paying into it. Everybody pays into it. It's the same way that, that the CAA, for example. Right. right. You you pay your hundred bucks a yeah. year. Yeah. And CAA can send you a seventy thousand dollar tow truck and a guy that's making forty grand to right. the parking lot. That's because right. whenever you whenever, whenever you, you need, need it. it. That's right. Because <laughs> the probabilities of all I don't know how many bazillion members it all happening at the same time <laughs> all, all needed at the same time and yeah, i know exactly. i know for a fact that for example in in uh, southern california where we actually have two law firms we have one for the north and one for the south of california because it's so big i mean their their population is as big as canada um their monthly retainer is something north of two million bucks awesome wow so I mean, if we extrapolate that to to Ontario, you can figure the law firms making a good chunk of change every month. Yeah, which is why we get that service because okay. they don't want to they don't want to shake that cart. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. they want to make sure that you are happy. Yeah, exactly. And the great thing is, if you're not happy, there are a whole bunch of people at the head office of Legal Shield that want to know about it. Right. <laughs> right. No, literally, there is a there is a department that is member appreciation and member uh, services 
and they want to know if something's not right because they will go in and fix it. And the lawyers have to oh. have a, a whole sheet and report they have to fill in every month on how long it takes them to answer, how many things were resolved, you know, is anything right. being left over, all of this kind of stuff. Right. And if they don't match, meet up, they're gone. Wow. And nice. I mean, it, it doesn't happen very often because they're very careful about picking the law firm. Of course. Most of them have been with us on average 19 to 20 years. Yeah. But from time to time, things will change and people just that I'm sorry, you're out of there. <laughs> and if you know, if you're a law firm and is this to being a legal shield lawyer is bringing in a hundred grand a month and you have to do maybe 30 grand a month work for it. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're not jeopardizing that. You're at all. not in a rush to screw that up. No. <laughs> No, not at all. Okay, so for my last question in this section, what's the service that you offer the most or get the most response to? Um, I guess you could do both sides. One would be business and one would be you know personal or family. Primarily, primarily it's been traditionally it's been the, the legal services. Okay. But ID Shield is, is coming up climbing. rapidly. Now, unfortunately, we don't offer an ID shield for business, which is available in the U.S. Oh, okay. Um, and part of that, again, is our silly privacy laws. Laws, yeah. It, it, it creates just a, a quagmire. But the nice thing is if you have, you know, for a small business entrepreneurial guy, he's usually the key part of his business anyways. Yeah. And so if he's compromised, his business is compromised. That's right. That's right. So there is there is some carryover from that perspective. Especially if it's a solopreneur, any exactly. of those type of limited. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's the other great thing is it is as a if he's a, a solopreneur, I can offer him a really discounted business plan with nice. his family plan rather than nice. rather than the, the bigger plan for a for a company that has employees and that kind of right. thing. Right. Right. So yeah, it's a win-win for everybody, really. Yeah, that's amazing. There should be no reason why you can't take up more, <laughs> more people in that. So I'll have to get the word out. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to do. Absolutely, us too. So thank you very much, Chris, for coming out. And if you just want to give like your, your kind of contact information in that way, um, if anyone wants to get a hold of you, you can let them know. Sure, what's the best way to do it? Just... So you can just rhyme off maybe whatever you want to, okay, whatever you uh, want them to respond to, whether it be email, phone number, and then we'll also add it in. After. Yeah, well, the, the, the phone number is 519-501-8880. Uh, the email address is M-O-R-R-I-C-E, which is my last name, E-N-T at gmail.com. And the, the uh, website, which is a little long to explain, but it makes sense if you think about it. It's C.A. Morris dot we are legal shield dot ca fantastic Super. awesome well thank you for participating i really appreciate it oh thanks for having me on it was great fun